Hi everyone, Cheryl here with another Cottage Cuts video. Um, this one is going to be on the pink um, peony flower and that's by the Cottage Cuts. And what I'm going to do is just show you how I got the look of these three flowers using the one die. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is pick your um, color choices that you're going to use of design paper. And I'm going to scoot this in and hopefully move it down some. Okay. And so what I've done is I've ran the die through and I'll show you what the die looks like. So here's the die and what I've done is I've done one of the big flower and then one of this one up here and then I've done one of this size in this color and then for the little teeny flower which is the one that's up the one that's up here um, that one is this flower right here so you'll need one of that one and then you're going to need um, two of this one but in the different <laughs> papers sorry I did one in cardstock and then I went did in one in the design paper and then I did the bigger flower in the peach. And so that's pretty much all you're going to need. I did use um, a couple of the, the leaves and I did that in a green design paper. And then I used some leaves from another die cut as well. And I think I have those listed for this card when it comes out. Okay, and so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to also need some scissors. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with the bigger flower. And so that one's this. And this is real simple. So all I'm going to do is I find the points here. There's four of them here. So I'm going to snip just a little bit. This just gives us some um, working room. So I'm just snipping a little so you can move that flower. And here's the other point. You can kind of tell where the flower um, petal starts and stops. So, And then here's the other one. Okay, so now you have four on that one. And I'm using um, Cool Caribbean, and this is Stampin' Up! ink pad. And I'm not doing dusting on this. All I'm doing is I'm actually just taking the ink pad, and hopefully you're going to be able to see this. Oops, let's get it. And I'm just taking it along the edges and distressing it. And that's it. I mean, it's a super fast way to get um, a different look with this flower. And then what I'll do is if you want to do the edges, you just take it and run it along there. Oops. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just and I'll take it along that one and along there. Okay, and so there's the flower. Next thing I want to do is, if you can see, there's um, different heights to this petal, and what I do is I use those for point to do my folding. So you can just fold that and kind of give it some dimension. And the same thing, I just do that here. You can fold it down, you can fold it up, just to give it some... You can use your nail. See? And so now you have your um, the bottom. And now on this one, it's the same thing. You're just going to, just distressing. And there's no cutting on this one. You don't need to um, do any cut, um, cut lines. But we are going to fold the same thing. Just fold. If you want, you could push it in like that. And then this one has four, so I just kind of use my nail as a guide. And there you have that one. And then this one is the last. 
And the same thing, just to stress the edges, and then I'm going to add a couple cut lines or a few. And I just, the same thing on this, I find where the petals begin, and I just do little snips. This just gives room to bend this flower. Okay. And then I just kind of push down and push the flower up. So pushing down in the center. And there you have that one. So for the center of that, I'm just going to use a, a brad. And I actually just snip this off and I hot glue gun it into the center. Um, which I don't even have ready, but um, I'm just going to glue it with regular glue on this one. So to put this together, I'm just using uh, my tacky glue and you just put a little bit of glue in the center and then we'll just let it dry takes longer to do it this way if you're using the tacky glue um, but if you're not kneading and then on the back the design paper I used is my little shoebox design paper and then just push it down in the center and then just let that set and I'll come back and hot glue again the little center but here you have the big flower now the little flowers are easy because there's really no um, cutting or anything on this you're just going to go and distress the edges super easy and do a little bit on that oh and the center just came out I tried to keep the center in okay so that one's done and then just do a little bit oh and the center came out on that one figures <laughs> okay and just distress these and then just glue them together so I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue and if you want to give this some some dimension too you just kind of um, cup this up a little bit and there you have it and so then I'll just add a little bit of glue to the center I mean a little dot and add my piece and the other little piece Whoops. and if I need to move it since the glue moved when I'm holding it up usually if you have it set down so there's that one I'm going to use pearls in the center of these and the same with this one you just kind of bend it up and then you can add your pearls and your pieces to the center whoops sorry harder to see when you have the camera in front of you so there's that one and then the pearls and then we're done you can add any leaves you want for this and then um, on this one I used on the the peach one I used a little bit bigger pearl I usually reinforce force these sorry I can't even talk with a little dab of glue but I'm not doing that for the video and that way they don't fall off because I don't know if you've ever noticed but when you have a card um, that you're going to give and then all of a sudden the little pearls are missing just go ahead and add a tad of glue and that helps to keep them on and there you have the flowers that I have on my card and I thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed today's video and have a nice day bye bye